Election Day, next Tuesday, for who's going to replace, for the rest of the year, really, the disgraced, indicted, and expelled Republican Congressman from Long Island, George Santos. The two candidates in this special election casting their votes today, part of early voting. Former Congressman Tom Swazi, a Democrat, against Mazi Felit, who is running as a Republican. It has now been a cordial race, not at all, but it is an important race. Here's live with the news reporter, Reagan Meji. Amazing. Feels good. Of course, I vote for Mazi. A huge smile from Republican candidate Mazi Pillip after casting her ballot around 10.30 this morning at Oyster Bay Town Hall South in Massapequa. That little Mazi from a village in Ethiopia running for Congress and voting for myself. This is the American dream. The race between Pillip and Democrat Tom Swazi is nearing the finish line. Both candidates vying to fill disgraced ex-Congressman George Santos's vacant seat in a special election on Tuesday. Early voting already underway. What we did the last time with Santos was everyone kind of voted in the dark and look what happened. So, you know, we needed some changes here. I like the pro-life stance, so I went for that. Pillup, an Ethiopian Jew who lived and served in the military in Israel, is making sure her voice and stance on issues is being heard. Voting for Mazi means voting to secure the border, voting to create more safe environment, voting to lower taxes. You know, people want to return to sanity, somebody that they can trust to get things done. Democratic candidate Swazi also out today, casting his ballot in Glen Cove, where he had been mayor, turned Nassau County executive, then three-term congressman. I brought in money for the Long Island Sound to clean up pollution at the Bethpage Plume. I brought in money for roads and bridges and sewer and water. I did things to help make people's lives better, and I always worked across party lines to pass legislation. Early voting continues until Sunday. Then on Tuesday, voters are asked to go to the regular polling places. And then those results are expected Tuesday night.